Good evening everyone, I'm Lindsay Deaton and welcome to On The Go with BCSO. First, I would like to introduce you to our pet of the week. Grace was a stray and has been at our South Animal Care Center since July of 2015. She's a quick learner and loves to put her feet in your lap and give kisses and absolutely loves her belly rub. Grace has a big heart and would be a great addition to your family. If you are interested in, in adopting Grace or any of our other animals, please visit our animal care centers. We would like to thank all of our citizens who have been attending our self-defense through tactical shooting classes over the last several months. This one-of-a-kind eight-hour class taught by firearms instructors from the Brevard County Sheriff's Office is offered to citizens that either have obtained a concealed weapons permit or would like to carry a permit pursuant to attending the instructional class. The class includes training on self-defense through mental preparedness, legal instruction on self-defense, tactical shooting, and shoot-don't-shoot shoot scenario training. The class is as much about when not to shoot as it is when to shoot and offers citizens citizens training so they are well prepared to be the first line of defense for them and their family if they face a violent criminal. If you are interested in registering for an upcoming class, please visit our website at www.brevardsheriff.com or call our career development unit at 321-264-5281. The class is offered almost every Saturday of the month and the cost is $50. I am very proud to recognize the actions of Brevard County Sheriff's Deputy Matt Simpson for his efforts in the apprehension of an armed robbery suspect. As a member of public safety, you very rarely have time away from your commitment to protecting your community as most law enforcement officers continually monitor dispatch while maintaining a constant awareness of what is going on around them. While it can often prevent the t ability to relax and enjoy family or time off, the actions of Deputy Simpson last Friday afternoon are a perfect example of the commitment and dedication our Brevard County deputies have to protecting their community. Matt was off duty when he learned of an armed robbery that had just occurred in the immediate area where he was running some errands. Deputy Simpson subsequently observed an individual that appeared to be out of place and was acting suspicious by constantly looking around as if he was worried about being followed. Deputy Simpson then contacted our communication center for a detailed description of the suspect. The detailed description matched the individual whom Deputy Simpson then followed and made contact with after the suspect realized he was being watched. Deputy Simpson then identified himself and detained the subject until the cavalry arrived to his location. The subject was taken into custody and determined to be in possession of a large amount of U.S. currency and the actual note that was used in the robbery. Deputy Simpson's actions while off duty not only led to the capture of an armed robbery suspect, but also served to exemplify the courage and commitment of the 1,500 proud men and women of our agency. Matt and the other members of our BCSO family are the reason we have such an incredible agency and are looked upon as one of the most professional agencies in the nation. Thank you, Deputy Simpson. Our Deputies of the Month from North Precinct are Deputies Michael Harisco and Marie Skinner. On January 26, Deputy Harisco and Deputy Skinner responded to a call regarding a domestic disturbance at a residence. They were flagged down by the female complainant who reported hearing what appeared to be a female being beaten, screaming for help, and items being broken. Deputies Harisco and Skinner could then hear a loud argument between a male and a female in the backyard of the residence. The two deputies encountered a male and female that were engaged in a very active domestic disturbance. As the two subjects were separated, the female was directed to speak with Deputy Skinner while Deputy Harisco dealt with the male subject. During the altercation, the male subject was able to retrieve a collapsible baton that was used to strike Deputy Harisco in the head several times, causing severe head trauma and lacerations. As Deputy Skinner went to assist Deputy Harisco, she was also struck in the head as well. While both deputies sustained serious head injuries from the male subject, they were still able to subdue the subject and take him into custody as an aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer and attempted murder of a law enforcement officer. Thankfully, both deputies are expected to make a full recovery from their injuries, and we want to thank both of them for their commitment and dedication to serving our community. Before we close, we need your help in identifying the pictured suspect who has allegedly stole a woman's credit card and purchased over $7,000 in Visa gift cards. If you have any information, please contact Agent Kyle Williams at our South Precinct at 321-253-6683. Thank you for watching On The Go with BCSO and for everything you do to support the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. I'm Lindsay Deaton and we'll see you next week on another episode of On The Go with BCSO.